Good morning, Wyatt with Still Rolling Electric here. This morning we're gonna install some 160 millimeter brake rotors that were purchased off of Amazon. The link will be in the description. You guys can go ahead and click on that. If you guys are interested in replacing your brake rotors on any really electric scooter that has 160 millimeter brake rotors, or this video is based on the Kaboo Wolf King, we're gonna go ahead and do the front and rear today. So please like and subscribe, and I appreciate you guys watching. Please watch it all the way through so you don't miss anything. Comment if you have any questions. Let's install these red brake rotors. Let's go. Alrighty, so I have the brake rotors here. Um, I went ahead and put some rubber gloves on. I would recommend that anytime you're touching with brakes. It's not good to get the oils that comes off of your body onto brakes. So here we go. We're going to start with the rear. I took off the rubber caps that are on each side of the, the nuts to the rear axle. So I'm going to go ahead and set those aside. I have a 13 16 3 8 socket. I'm going to head and remove this side. And you're gonna follow this same procedure for the other side. I'm gonna set that nut aside. Alrighty, so after removing both sides here with the 13 sixteenths, it's the 3 eighths ratchet. We're gonna go ahead and take off these little washers that are, they have a little ear on them, so they stick in to the swing arm, and they look like that. We're gonna take one off of those each side, and these are the outers that we're taking off. When I say outer, um, that's behind, it was behind the nut, so I'm setting those aside. There are gonna be a set of those same little washers with ears on the inside. And they are facing upside down. So these rear wheels are really in there tight. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the brake caliper here. After removing the two axle nuts and the washers, I'm gonna take this number five and I'm gonna take these two screws out. Okay, those two on the top here. Right. And there are little spacers underneath, so be mindful of that. I'm gonna go ahead and slide mine back onto the screw, but I do know I'm gonna take a, a mind note that it goes in between the mount and the caliper itself and for who any anybody who may not be experienced with brakes that are watching this video this is called the disc or the caliper or excuse me this is called the rotor and this is called the caliper for anybody who's not experienced i said that backwards so you got the caliper which we're working on and you got the rotor which we're replacing we're gonna slide that off, set that aside. It'll just hang by its hydraulic line. Okay, so everything's free, but these wheels are in there very tightly. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to screw these nuts back on just a little bit after we got all this taken apart. Make sure you get a good amount of threads on there. Take your ratchet if need be. Screw it on there so you see some threads at the end of the nut. Follow through with the same side. And I'm actually going to just tap down on this socket and ratchet because my wheel is bound in here. Um, I don't know how it'll be for your scooter, but mine is just always bound in here. So quick, easy way, that side's down now. I'm gonna put this on, get my kickstand out of the way. Okay, 
this wheel is now pretty much dropped down. We'll come back to the other side and tap it again. Okay. And as you can see, this is coming out now. Um, so we just gotta keep working it side to side. I'm gonna take this little stand I have right here and set it to the side so I can set my wheel on that. Okay, there goes the wheel. So I have a stand next to it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my wheel on the stand like so. So mine's looking like that. So I'm gonna break each one of these loose. And if you're still watching, I paid for these brake rotors. I think I paid right around $10 each for them. So a set was right around $20, which is a pretty decent deal. And if you're hard on brakes and kind of a hard rider, and um, then it's nothing fancy. So I'm removing each one of these now. Alrighty, we have the rotor free. This is the one that's all bent up that is coming off the scooter. As we can see, it's printed 160 right on the back side. And there also is an arrow on the back side to tell you the direction that you want to place this to make sure it's spinning. If you're not sure what size your rotor is, most likely it's a 160, but in some cases it might be a 140 or might even be above 160. But it is stamped in the back, so that's a good way to tell. So we're gonna set that one aside, that's junk. And we have one of our new ones here. Look how nice that is. Let's go ahead and install this. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put the printed 160 towards the rim side. You don't want it facing the outside because that is the direction that we are going to be spinning. So we're gonna set that on there. Allen's that we took out. The ones that came with it are a torque bit and I do not have any here today. I'm just going around and getting each one in. In some cases, you might want to put some Loctite on these. There's a total of six allen screws on the rotor and remember we put the side that's printed with an arrow in the 160 we put that towards the rim facing the inside i'm going to go ahead and tighten these in a star pattern
Now I'm just going around and checking each one's tension. Alrighty, those are all tight. We're gonna set our Allen aside and we're gonna put this wheel back together. Getting the wheel back in there is pretty difficult. I've always had some trouble with it just because the swing arm is just so tight here. Um, I mean, you could loosen up the screws up here on the swing arm to kind of give you some play, which I would recommend. I'm not gonna do that today. Uh, that is an option. So we have our washer here that has a little ear on it. That ear is going to face towards the tire and it's going to be pointed upwards. So the bottom, the inside one's pointing downwards to rest in the groove. And this top one will go in there and there's a little hole that it has to meet up with. So it's, it goes in that hole. Take your 13 16 nut. We're going to put that back on. Okay, and we're gonna follow the same procedure on this side. Take our washer with the ear, ear faces the inside. Okay, take your wheel nut. Make sure you start those to where you, the threads feel right. I totally recommend putting something underneath the tire as you're doing this, just so it's not falling out on you. I'm gonna snug this side up. Okay. Alrighty. So that wheel, this wheel, that rear wheel is all tightened up. We're going to take our little rubber wheel protector and nut covers. Okay. And this step is super important. I hope you guys are still with me watching this video. I'm going to show you how to adjust your brakes. Absolutely perfect with using some paper. So I have two sticky notes here. I'm going to go ahead and just set these right here on the side. I'm going to take my caliper. I'm going to grab my spacers and my Allen screws. Okay. So it looks like there was two spacers on each underneath the mount and each screw. So I put the screw through. I'm going to put the two spacers on the underside and I'm going to grab my Allen here. It's a number five Allen and I'm just going to start that top one. just gonna snug these down give them some room to still move around because we have to adjust our brakes these are these are hydraulic brakes and you can get them set up with a couple little pieces of paper I'm gonna go ahead and rip off where it's sticky alrighty so I have two post-it notes I'm gonna slide each side of the brake pad okay so there's one side take another piece of paper all right now I have paper in between the pads and the rotor and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brake handle I'm gonna hold tension on it I'm gonna go ahead and 
tighten these down. Alrighty, I'm gonna let off the brake. Now this is a good time to take your paper out. So just spin the wheel backwards. Paper's gonna come out. So my brakes are rubbing a little bit. I'm gonna ride it, see if it kind of uh, wears off. My brake pads are probably uneven from a bent, um, a bent uh, rotor. But there's the rear one. The rear one's done. Let's go ahead and move to the front. All right, here we are, everybody. We're going to go ahead and remove the rubber caps on the axle nut. Same size socket as the rear. So we're going to go ahead and remove the front axle nuts. And this front is going to have the same washers as the rear. And I took off both sides. gonna have to get these little washers off I use pliers to take that little washer off with the ear set that aside same procedure for this side set that aside alrighty I'm gonna grab my little red stand here and I'm gonna set this aside and And I just tapped the wheel out. I didn't loosen the caliper this time. So I have my wheel here to work with. It's resting on this little handy stand. Would be awesome if you guys went into that link in the description and purchased these rotors. They have them in all sorts of different colors and they are decent. They are actually a very good quality for um, these scooters. They're actually surprisingly really nice. I'm taking these out, I'm gonna set these aside. And also you guys, I'm trying to get my channel up. I also have a new hurricane electric skateboard coming in the mail um, everything that i'm doing right now is with my own money i work a day job if you guys would uh, support the channel please like and subscribe and in any way you can support me is amazing i appreciate you guys just being so friendly and um, just being a part of the community and the youtube community if you guys were interested in buying me lunch or buying me a coffee my venmo link is in the description um, you guys can hit me up on facebook um, it's still rolling electric or you guys can also email me at stillrollingelectric at icloud.com. So I removed that 160 millimeter um, rotor disc. I'm gonna set that aside. We've got the new one here. This is a 160, like the rear. Remember the, the, the arrow that's stamped and says 160 goes towards the wheel. So we're gonna set that on there, grab our Allen screws and our number four Allen wrench. We're gonna go ahead and just get these started here. The front is much easier than the rear.
just be mindful that you get these started in the right thread pattern that you do not cross thread them because this is your wheel you're working with this is your motor cover and you don't want to have to be replacing more parts so just be mindful as you're doing this and make sure that allen key is all the way deep into these screws um, it's really common for people to strip these out because they just barely put the wrench in there you got to make sure you wiggle it and get it all the way down and make sure you are using the right allen key um, it is a number four in some cases it'll be a torque bit We're going to go ahead and put the wheel back in. Make sure the inner washers are there. I'm actually going to take my number five Allen and loosen up the caliper. We're gonna put these washers back on, ears facing up. There's a little hole in the fork that they'll go in. Start your nut on there. Tighten your wheel up. Grab your nut cover. Get it on Here there. I am having to take off number five Allen's on the caliper. I'm gonna have to push the pads in, which pushes hydraulic fluid back into the system. You can just take a pair of pliers, and as you can see here, the pads are really far in on one side, so if you just take um, a pair of pliers or um, anything that will go in there, you can work it in there and it opens it up and it pushes the hydraulic fluid back in 
the system and gives you more room to work with. So now I got a big gap and I am going to, I'm actually going to go ahead and replace these pads while I'm here. You take out this cotter key on the top side, just use a pair of pliers. Once you pull that cotter key off, you can push the brake pads down. And there you have the brake pads. You're gonna pop them off this little clip. There's the old pad and you can tell that one's just hammered. Okay, you'll be left with this clip. Here's the new pads. You're gonna pop the pad in on the outside of it like that. And you wanna make sure you have the material facing the inside. You're gonna take your caliper and push the pads back up to the top side so the hole will line up with the Allen, or the cotter key, cotter key. And that goes right back through the top like so and bend it back and your pads have been installed got new pads all righty we're gonna go ahead and put this caliper back on grab our number five allen screws So with the brand new pads, there's not a lot of room. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze the, the front brake. And snug these down. And there we have it. And with the new pads, they'll kind of wear a little bit. Um, just kind of break in. I can make some fine-tune adjustments, but there you have it new brake rotors